Gotta talk about a montage. We're gonna build the house together made from the mine of the silver and we're gonna have all the money in the world to build a mansion on the hill, yeah. And the town is gonna, gonna come together because we made a million and this is a montage eight years later. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam and this is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you back to Octopath Travelers 2. Still in the demo. In the last episode we wrapped up Hikari's uh, main quest. He set out on his hero's journey after his father got killed by his brother Mugen. And uh, we have to go gather up eight travelers to go back and help, or somewhere along those lines. In this episode, we're going to continue on. We have about an hour and a half of gameplay left before the demo says you have to wait until Friday the 24th, I think? At time of recording, it is that week. It is Monday. Um, the game comes out at the end of the week, so we'll definitely be continuing on then. But yeah, it is the 20th, so the 24th. Um, we'll be continuing on. In this episode, we're going to start Baby's first quest that uh, I did download the PS5 version and play through a couple other ones. Uh, well, one other one, I should say. And this dude is, yeah, pretty much the first tutorial uh, quest for all of them. He just kind of just shows up and he tutorializes. Ooh, I like how that sounds. Yep, you press the ZR button and it changes the time of day. And we have to fight some uh, people to get his stuff back. And if you're excited to do that, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And to basically get a grasp of what he wanted to do, where is it? Don't I have a quest log? I guess it's in my journal. Alright. Three days in Ray Hick here begin his journey. Damn, that's a lot of uh, things in there. But I need side quests. Traveler's bag. Damn, that rotten thief, he took my bag. I heard this area is quite dangerous at night, so best be careful. Alright, uh, I just wander around looking for this dude's bag? Or is it in the water? Oh, it's probably that dude over there. Alright, let me head over there. I shall be your opponent. Here I come. Ooh. There's even uh, ferocious looking beasts here at night. We got a uh, ant looking dude. It looks like he's diseased. Good news is that he's still weak to swords. My <laughs> So Hikari here, he's level 6, he's about to be level 7, I'm not really too sure it's just his story, but some other travelers definitely got uh, higher levels uh, than Hikari after his first episode. Just want to start the episode off with some combat. Why is this ant so tough? He's kind of ripping Hikari a new one. Is this dude almost dead? No, look at that. He's not even... Oh, boy. We're going to have to watch what we're doing. Things, I guess, are more uh, deadly at night. Jesus. I mean, he does almost 100 damage per swipe. I mean, we can break him, but we're not really doing any damage. Do I have any warrior skills that can lower his defense? I mean, I can raise our defense. Unleash powerful polearm. Single attack chance 25 to deal a crit. Is he also weak to poles? No, he's not weak to two spears. All right. Double slash. There we go. That keeps our BP up. There we go. Let's use Shadow Hold. I'm tired of this dude. Unleash a powerful sword attack on a single foe. Okay, he's halfway dead. There we go. I still have much to learn. Hikari had to use his latent ability. Alright, so that got us a bunch. I was not expecting a crazy fight to the death with an ant. But yeah, it does heal you after each battle in the overworld. I guess for certain story sections, it doesn't? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Hello, uh, thief guy. Do you have that dude's bag? Damn it! There's nothing worth in this bag! Ugh, a map? I ain't never seen place like this. Hey, who the hell are you? You got business with me? Yes, I do. Ugh, you have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? But that doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Hand over all your leaves now. I'll do what I must. Alright, hello, mini boss. Are you weak to swords? No, you are not. Uh oh. 
Oh, you do like no damage. Oh. Are you weak to spears? Yes, you are. Cool. All right, that's good to know. I only need two. There we go. Well, you're baby's first quest, so you shouldn't be that tough. Unleash a single. F oh. No, don't I have a pole skill? Oh, yes, I do. Here we go. Let's power it up a little bit. There we go. There's no need for flattery. Good job, Hikari. All right, we're getting Hikari up some levels. The hell is wrong with you? Damn, you can have it. This stupid bag is worthless anyway. I'm getting the hell out of here. Crazy ass samurai people. A tamed owl's bag. All right. And just like uh, the tutorial, this is tutorializing getting across water. Yeah, we kind of just spawn a canoe. Not exactly sure why, but it's pretty cool. And I'm sure there's unique monsters that would attack us inside of a boat. Diffusing serum? What's a diffusing serum? Uh, where is it? Diffusing serum. Where is it? Hello? Oh, there it is. Does it do anything? What's the... No, I want to see it. Diffusing serum. An ingredient for concoctions. Extends the reach of effects to wall. Oh, so probably once we get the apothecary uh, traveler, we can probably make up some crazy potions with it. And that's crafting materials. Or fight. My oh, Jesus. Two... Okay, these guys must be... Alright, these are just one. Didn't I fight you guys already? Alright. You don't do that much damage, but still. I know I'm wasting a lot of time fighting freaking ants. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to in this episode to finish all of the next Traveler. But we'll do as much as we can in the meantime. Prepare yourself. I need this. My turn. Here I am. Allow me. I still have much all right these damn ants are causing me some problems but that gets us up to level eight I think we should go back today because I think some of the enemies at night are Ooh, look at the rainbow I like the rainbow <laughs> all right um, but yeah some of the enemies at night are uh, no joke hello dude here's your bag I've heard this area is quite dangerous, so you had best be careful. Yes, yes. I lost my bag to a thief not long ago, and I can't get into my journey without it. But how do I get it back? Uh, here you go. Boah! That's it! That's my bag! Don't tell me you got it back from the thief. Yeah, I bodied him. I cannot thank you enough. Now I can continue my journey. Thank you truly. It's not much, but I want you to have it by the way of thanks. What are you giving me? I must be off now. I pray we meet again. I'm sure we will, Al. Thanks. I don't know what you gave me, but... What'd you give me? He got $1,500, some nuts and grapes. <laughs> what a guy. And that completes the Traveler's Bag side quest. Alright, and now we can continue on. Yep, we are uh, leveled up to level 8 now. We're fully healed. And we can head on to the next area that gets us our next traveler. I know there's some treasure chest in this. Oh, can I, how do I get to this? I know there's some treasure chest. We'll be back to it. But time is of the essence. And we kind of have to let's go here. <laughs> and that gets us to our next area. Which is our next traveler's uh, domain. As we walk up these steps. And we reach the little town. But not before we get ravaged by a monkey first. Gotta love speed up. I know I shouldn't be fighting everything, uh, anything that pops up, but I just can't help it. Alright, here's a thing over here. Because it was just here, so I was like, might as well get it. Herb of Valor. Alright, so which way am I going here? 
So I'm almost there. We're heading up to Particio. I'll do what I must. All right. Now can I like it. run away? Oh. I still have much to learn. Trying my best at running away from uh, enemies, but it's just not not working out very well. All right. Easter's Cropperdale Trail or Rush. Well Grove Trail. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, well, it's good to know that the next traveler is very close to the other one, but I don't want to go to that one. I want to go to the other one first. Stand aside or fight. My turn. Oh, God. Here For the pride of Koo. Alright, so this is the way we want to go if we want to head to the next traveler. But I want to head over to this one first, because this is closer. I still have much to learn. Now, I don't mind getting the XP, but, you know, fighting every random encounter is cutting into our playtime. Alright, the city of Orrush. Transport yourself instantly to any town you visit before. Okay, so anytime we visit a town, we instantly can just return to it. We'll make this town twice as prosperous as it once was. Ooh, you are very strong. <laughs> I also noticed I have $4,000, so hopefully that transfers to this dude. Hello, buddy. What's up? Oh, howdy there, friend. What can I help you with? Well, now, you've got a special look about you. Come on, Hikari. Say something. I can tell from the way you carry yourself that you're one heck of a fighter. Lady Luck must be shining down on me, because it ain't every day you meet someone like you. The folks around these parts call me Particio. I'm a merchant, and I'm getting ready to hit that dusty trail. See, I've All right. got big plans and big ideas. Too big to handle alone. I was hoping I'd find a dependable sort like you to accompany me on my travels. Right back at you, Particio. Except Particio's invitation, I would hope so. You really mean it? Thanks, partner. That'd be kind of a very interesting playthrough of like Octopath Traveler 2, where it's like, yeah, um, I'm you solo each like um, main story of each character just themselves. So that's the solo run. It's like, okay, if I want to play with Yukari first, I can't get another traveler until I complete fully. Hikari's story and if I do go to another one I have to only use that traveler I don't know if you could take travelers out and actually solo but that would be a pretty interesting challenge Particio, at your I don't know the game well I'm enough to do that though I don't think anybody well I would shouldn't say power. that I know the game somewhat from playing the first one but uh, here the big here, the beginning of Particio's Tale. The party will temporarily be dissolved, and Chapter 1 of Particio's Tale will begin. Even if you choose no, you can still hear the story later at a local tavern. Oh, so I can literally just pick up Particio, and he, we can just go do some stuff. Or we can start their tales anytime. So, might as well start it here. Chapter, well, second traveler of this Let's Play, Particio, let's do it. 16 years ago. What do you think, Particio? What do we do with this land? What do you mean, what? There ain't Scratch here. That's exactly why I'm asking, little chickadee. It's a blank slate. It can be whatever we make it. Long as we got the skill and gumption anyhow. Wow, Pops. You still got away with words. I know, son. Swipe that line if you want. No, I wouldn't do that. Even ain't right. Even Real ain't right. Doesn't filch what they want. And they buy it. That's my boy. Fine words. You do me proud. Oh, oh I had an idea. If it was up to me. Whole plot with all our friends. 
The southern accent is really killing me. <laughs> I like how you think, Chickadee. That'd make everyone happier than hens in a coop. Yeah, smart. I wonder how this sounds in Japanese. Because obviously the theme of this area is like, you know, southern town, southwest Fine United States, like idea. Texas area. But I wonder if it, wonder how it sounds with the here. Japanese voice acting. This land is an asset. We bought the deed to it fair and square from its former owner. If we want to divvy it up, Montesio, we can't just give it away for free. Aw, come on now, Mr. Rock. No need to be stingy. We're here because we heard there was silver to be found in these hills. Rock and I pooled our money and bought the rights to these lands. That we did. <laughs> Rumor was you couldn't take a step without tripping over silver ore. This is no time to be oohing and on, Chickadee. You want to be a merchant too, right? Then take these leaves and go buy us some silver. Gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. A merchant cultivates a discerning eye through knowledge and experience. That means hands-on training is more precious than gold. Yes, sir, Mr. Rock. I'll go buy some silver then. Look at he split. Good boy. Uh, negotiate a good price and show us your business acumen. All right. I have to go get a thing of silver. Hello. Go on. Show us your business acumen. I look forward to seeing what you can do, little chickadee. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some silver. I love this place. Can't wait to see what this little town grows into. Well now, I wonder who's got the silver to sell. Oh, it's supposed to be a kid's voice. Oh well. Time to show off my what you call it, my business acumen. <laughs> Just press Y on people. What are you selling? Oh, oh might as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. Oh, God. What if he says thank you kindly like that to everybody? Yeah, might as well buy all the... Oh, then again. I feel like this is... You're supposed to buy this stuff, seeing as though, uh... You know, they're all there. So, let's see. Oh, this is garbage. Uh, so restore this to a single ally. Sure, I'll buy that. It's sold at a high price. Thank you, Cat. I can sell it for a high price. All right, let's see. Hey, buddy, what do you got? Large point case? Nah. What do you got? Anything gold? Old cloth? Oh, you've got garbage. And hello, dude, you're what I need to go actually sell for. You have a stone and a dubious silver nugget. All right. It's got the power of the dark side in it. Hey, mister, some mighty fine metal. How about you sell it to me? I can pay fair and square. Ugh, he's off. I'll trade you. Just don't tell anybody about this deal, alright? Deal, thank you kindly. What a weird-ass kid. I just sold him the power of a Sith Lord inside of a rock. Hopefully it doesn't give him bad fortune. Hey there, Particio. Managed to buy any silver? I did, Dad. <laughs> sure did. Here, this is it, right? Right? Give it here. It's kind of dubious, so you better watch out. Whoa, now. This is some fine quality ore. Yeah, as long as it doesn't screw up our whole town in 16 I years. I we can earn a bundle off this. Okay. Bundle of what? Uh, yeah! What the hell did Dad just say? We sold off all but a roof over our head is five. Oh, why is it not talking? Hold on. Oh, I hit the wrong fast forward button. The global I think. economy is beginning to adopt a standardized silver leaf to serve as the basis for commerce. 
We're entering the there age we of go. silver. Mark my words. We are well positioned to earn a fortune. Right. We rise and shine early tomorrow to get digging for silver. Woohoo! I can't wait to get started, pups! Yay, manual labor and child labor. <laughs> We're gonna strike it rich, chickadee. Is this supposed to be a montage? Gotta talk about a montage! We're gonna build the house together made from the mine of the silver and we're gonna have all the money in the world to build a mansion on the hill, yeah! And the town is gonna, gonna come together because we made a million and this is a montage eight years later. <laughs> Now we have a giant house on a hill, a nice town to be proud of. I do like the music, though. Hey, oh, step right up! Oh God, Particio's over. Hall, freshly plucked from the salt, 100% pure, high-quality ore. Rumors about the quality of this town's silver drew me here to make a deal. But what real guarantee can a youngling like you offer me on its value? Hey, looks can be deceiving, my fine friend. I've been doing this for eight years now, and I know my stuff. Purity is the only means by which you can assess silver's horror quality. Take a look at the sheen on this rock. See the luster? That sparkle? Why, this is the finest you'll find in the land. It's even used in old King Dudley's crown. Impressive. Okay, at least we also established that this land has a king. Let me hear some numbers, folks. Four hundred thousand leaves. Eight hundred thousand. One million six hundred thousand. Look at this old lady. Ah, uh, one million eight hundred thousand leaves. We've got 1.8. Any other bidders? Anyone? Sold for 1,800,000 leaves. Much appreciated, friend. Go on, take it. You won't regret this. I guarantee. All right. That is indeed high quality. I would imagine that he's going to take a truckload of it, I and we didn't just sell what like one rock for themselves. almost two million dollars. Just eight <laughs> years, they turned this town into one of the continent's most plentiful sources of silver. That youngling's got potential. He possesses a discerning eye. But more than that, he's deft at reading people's hearts. He'll be a fine merchant one day. Very interesting that the dude who just gave me two million dollars is like, oh, what a nice businessman. <laughs> On to our next nugget. Let's get the bidding started. Pew! That's all for today's Soul and Settle. Time to head on home and give Pops the good news. I got one earnings. <laughs> Can I go in and talk to people? We just got a new saddle. Want to take a look, Partitio? I guess I, I can't. Sorry. Even though there's like no horses anywhere. What do you got, dude? Oh, I have $700. Oh. All right, what else can I look around here and find out what else you got selling? All right, you're the main item shop. I can't really buy anything, so that's a shame. Hello, dude, what do you got? Nothing. All right, that's cool. All right, so there's some things you can do in the town. Not really much for right now, anyway. There's just a bunch of townspeople. I love this town. I got work, women, and whiskey aplenty. What else do I need? 
Stop dawdling and put your back into it. We don't got all day. Damn, that guy's a slave driver. You're grinning from ear to ear, party. You must have made a bundle today. I did, and I'm gonna go give it to my pappy. <laughs> hey there, pops. I sold a bundle today, like always. That's my boy. Good work. You've grown since we settled here. The town has too. We're only gonna keep on growing, Pops. You bet. This town's gonna be something. Just gotta keep on digging up more silver and making a killing. And of course, use the profits to do right by everyone in town. You betcha, Pops. We'll do it together. Particio. We've got trouble. That gang's stirring up mischief at the mine again. They're back, huh? Go on ahead. I'll catch up. Protecting our mine's vital, but keep the violence to a minimum. You hear me? It's a deal I can't make, Pops. I'm gonna go rouse the town, gather a posse, whoever's willing to come. Hey, but just don't do anything risky, you hear? Dang, boy, he's already gone. Well, it would also help that I had uh, my microphone on, but we went up to the bar. You can recruit anybody you want, but this guy is the best because he's got a physical boost as his uh, little uh, skill that we can help out with. So definitely hire him. All the other ones are cool. Having a healer is cool. Basically makes it so you don't die, but to overpower people, yeah, like the boost guy. All right, and then obviously at the top of the mountain, there's a... Uh, a fight waiting for us, but first, this is an area technically that you can get into fights. And we already know they're weak to spears because we came up here with Hikari, but I think they're always also weak to bows. Yes, they are. And they are very tough, seeing as though Particio is only level one. So we definitely still have to watch out. But, that's our first battle of Particio wrapped up. Definitely would like to be level 5 in order going into this battle, just so we're not, like, dying. It's not that tough of a battle, but again, we have a limited amount of time to do this. Yeah, we have 50 minutes left, but that's still relatively good enough time. There's the fight that's going to happen up there. I'm just going to get up to at least level 5, and then we'll head on up there. Alright, and with that... We got up to level 5, untouchable break, so that should be good enough. And I guess it might be just in these starting areas that it automatically heals you, or if you're strong enough in the area, it, it doesn't. So if we go into a higher level area, it doesn't heal you automatically, but yeah, it just heals us after each fight. And now that we're level 5, we can head up here and meet up with our posse. Seems like you're all ready and raring to go. You look just as rare as any of us, boss. You bet I am. That lousy gang's really got my hackles up. The more we have, the more they try and take away. Those ruffians got the nose for coin and nothing else. 
They're here to take what we worked hard to make. So no holding back. Yeah, they're good for nothing thieves. Let's get them good, boss. Hmm, new face, ain't you? I'm counting on you to watch our backs. Take this. Think of it as a down payment. The boss is doling it out again. I also want to point out that we only have two hundred dollars after we made a two and a half. What is that? Almost a two million dollar uh, sale, but we got like nothing. <laughs> You'd really give coin to a stranger you just met, Particio? I mean, it's invisible coin. It's not our coin because we only have like two hundred bucks. Of course I would. Folk gotta help each other out if they want to make it in this world. True. <laughs> Strange to think the wild stallion's got a soft side. Parter in her bruising, no one can beat Particio the wild stallion. Too quick by half to let go of his leaves, though. Quiet back there. Stop the muttering. Trouble brewing in the ranks, bucko. Oh, I guess these are the troublemakers. I knew you'd show up, Giff. <laughs> kind of you to worry about my posse. <laughs> Hand over your coin. You're making a tidy profit, aren't you? We do honest work in our town, and we get honest pay for it. That's why it gets my goat that you scoundrels think you can waltz in here and steal what we shed sweat and blood for. Why not try some honest work for a change? It feels good. Feels good. Yeah! Give up being rascals and work like the rest of us! You tell him, Ned. <laughs> Laborers, all the same. Go on, boys, take them down. This world's about taking, and we're gonna be the takers. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, let's do it. That rat. He needs someone to cool him down. Listen up, fellas. We can't let this bunch of scoundrels beat us. Let's do it. Double pay for anyone who distinguishes themselves. Let's get to work. That's our boss. Generous as always. Come on. Let's get him. Come on. <laughs> All right. So we're heading into a first boss battle with Particio. I do like the background. So for this, we want to summon our supervisor that can give us a physical boost. He also can attack. That's why we brought him along. Basically makes us a giant tank that can also hit. And I think they're both weak to bows. I think they're weak to everything we have. Holy shit, that guy got destroyed. Might as well destroy him. See you later, dude. Destruction. Yeah, I also want to point out that I think some of the bosses in this game, like, I think the difficulty has definitely been toned down. At least in the beginning, because I remember in the original Octopath, this took a lot of time, and it was a lot of effort to defeat, like, first few battles as one traveler. I don't know if they just did that for accessibility, but so far, I want to say the first game is still harder than this one. Ha! <laughs> huh, not so tough after all, huh? Damn! Don't think you'll get away with this. <laughs> right, right. None of that cliche hogwash now. Retreat! We're getting out of here! Ha! And stay gone, you lily-livered lowlives! We did it, boss! Yeah! What a victory! Y'all did good, fellas! So what do y'all say we go and have ourselves a celebration? I say, let's make it a big one. You hear that, 
everyone! Food and drinks on Particio! Woo! That's our boss! Generous as always! Uh, hold your horses! I didn't say nothing about buying anyone! Come on, boss! Hurry it up! Meanwhile, Pap and Rock. You're what? I think my ears are deceiving me. Say that again, Rock. <sighs> I'm leaving town. For good. That joke ain't funny, partner. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? Capitalism is a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Fortune has favored us, and a high tide has graced our town. However, the tides are always changing, Pap. What about our people? The ones who followed us here? I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Hey, partner, wait! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. That doesn't sound like foreshadowing or anything. <laughs> Whew. I think I ate more than I could stomach. <sighs> this town's gonna get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. Oh, uh, Mr. Rock. Heading home early today, huh? <sighs> Particio, may I have a word with you? Particio, I'm leaving this town. Huh? I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. Silver is being mined worldwide now, and it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade and traveling to the eastern continent. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Mr. Rock. The east is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? It is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived from steam to provide unprecedented power. We are entering the age of steam, Particio. I'm certain of it. <sighs> Look at yourself. See eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Particio, I want you to come with me. 
I want your talent, your drive, your charisma. You possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equal. What do you say? Will you leave this town behind and join me on an exciting new venture? And together we can rule the galaxy together we can as amass a fortune a merchant and that old would man. Be the envy merchant guy? <laughs> Wow, Mr. Rock, you're always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. But I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Tishio, that sparkle in your eye tells me what's really in your heart. Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. <sighs> I see your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. Saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Patricio. Mr. Rock. like a sad montage though oh no gif stole our paintings what an asshole and he told us some fancy shit and now the town has withered like mr. rock has foreshadowed it has come to pass here in the present day oh no oh I thought he was dead <laughs> I was going to say, oh no, is he dead? I also want to point out that this is only eight years. Like, why is everything, like, such run down in eight years? Maybe if this was, like, 20 go, years, but My it's, like, eight years? And, and there's, like, wallpaper surprise. falling off the thing. There's cobwebs oh, everywhere. boy. <laughs> Smells delicious. Hang on, Particio. There's no beef in here. So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir-fry surprise, now would you? I can when we're broke. We can't afford beef. Well, you can't afford to clean the cobwebs so off the walls? Fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? Or put the books back on the bookshelf that are on the that floor there? Tough, huh? We dig and dig, pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. That contract I signed. Biggest mistake I ever made. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. Why would you sign something like that? Because that means if it ever becomes successful, he's like, oh, yoink. When I signed the darn thing. That rotten landowner let us do all the hard work building this place up. And then snatch the whole thing back once the silver starts. I was gonna say, off. good, good for you. I was like, how do you not see that? Just gonna let somebody else do the hard work and the then just take it back when it's successful. Mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit. I drove myself into the sick bed. That's why you always read the fine print, kids. Eat my share, pops. Merchant's health is the seed capital. You need all you can get. Fine words. When'd you get so eloquent, Chickadee? <coughs> when I got a gold <coughs> trench coat. 
Darn it, we're out of medicine, too. Uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. I'm sorry, son. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. All right, and I think with that, as we finally reach back to the present day and probably going to kick off with the second half of the first chapter of Particio, I think that's where we're going to wrap up with today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. In the next episode, which we have about a half hour's worth of time, I think we'll be able to start the second half. The game will probably tell us... Uh, yeah, your three hours is up. Go buy the full $60 version, which we shall. But I think we'll be able to have at least one more episode before launch in order to see what's going on with Particio and how we can help our town. But until then, I have been Adam. This has been HMO4Gaming. And this has been Octopath Traveler 2 with the merchant Particio. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.